A local health network is trying to recover patient information after its computer system was hacked. The hacker blocked access and then demanded money. But should the network pay it? News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us live in the newsroom with reaction from a cybersecurity expert. Well, the short answer to that question is no. Experts do not recommend paying the ransom. There's no guarantee that you'll even get access to your computer system back. But there are some businesses who have done it. Now, the system at Adams Health Network uh, was hacked last Thursday. Several physicians lost access to patient history and scheduling. We're told they have access to appointments now, but the IT department is still working to restore other patient information. The network is being pretty tight-lipped about the ransomware attack. We still don't know how much money they were asked to pay or if they paid it. A similar attack happened at Hancock Health Network. In that case, they paid $55,000. A security expert says the FBI does not recommend paying the ransom, but does understand why some businesses may do it. Uh, I, think it I think it would come down to, you know, basically, is it going to cost you more to pay or more to restore your systems in a timely fashion. It, that's, that's a risk and you know, risk first reward right there that companies have to take on. The CEO of Adams Memorial Hospital declined to be interviewed, but the network did issue a statement. You can find that full statement on Wayne.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.